Hello, my name is Craig and I'm a beamline scientist at Max4. I'm originally from New Zealand and I came to Max Lab in about mid-2013, so nearly three years now. I'm working on the ARPES beamline at Max Lab, the future ARPES beamline. So this is a technique for measuring the band structure of surfaces. So if people have questions about things like quantum wells or graphene or topological insulators, then there's a pretty good chance that some of their answers will be found with ARPES. So ARPES stands for Angle Resolved Photoemission Spectroscopy. So at the moment we don't have a beamline, we're, we're building it up. So the day-to-day -day tasks at the moment are a little bit different. It mainly involves a lot of meetings and design work and discussion with manufacturers to try and build up the best facility that we can. Uh, things are quite different once we have a beamline in place, then the job is more about making sure that the machine runs as good as it can and making sure that the users get the most that they possibly can out of the machine. So it's supporting the users who come here. And in addition, I do my own research some of the time, so a lot of the time is spent analyzing data, doing experiments, developing instrumentation, so it, it's really quite varied. There's a lot of electronics, design work, uh, again, data analysis, reading a lot of papers. It's, it's nice. So the wonderful thing about being a beamline scientist is that you get a really unparalleled exposure to a lot of uh, cutting edge science and interesting people. So for the science side of it, uh, it's a really wonderful opportunity. And at the ARPES beamline, we're very focused on everything that we do is based around getting the most science that we possibly can out of the user community and the, the resources that we have. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I guess what this really involves is often a lot of problem solving and creativity and, and troubleshooting. So if you are the kind of person who really is driven by problem solving and debugging and, and this sort of thing, then it's a, it's a nice place to be. Max4 is a really wonderful place to work. There's, there's something about the culture here where sort of from top to bottom there's a lot of I would say a sense of humility and just overall respect and that makes it a really wonderful place to work in addition to just being a really great place to do science and, and very interesting. So it seems in that way kind of a unique work culture. I don't know if that's a Swedish thing, maybe it is, but it's, it's working for me.